see. I don't care. I only got a beard to hide my double chin. Once my once the double chin is gone, the beard is gone. You got a straight mustache face. That's all right. I still got everything up here, so I can get rid of this. Hey, listen, I know I'm bald. It's cool, but you don't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't commenting on that. I'm just saying. If you you got. He if you get rid of your mustache. double chin, does that mean that the neck gets bigger? It might. Because no, not even no. All jokes aside, is that what hides the the neck piece for people who like us who got a short short neck span? It could. It could. It could contribute to that. The beard. Yeah, it could give you a couple Tighten inches. Up here, give you. It give you a couple inches. Give you a couple neck inches is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it give you a couple inches. <laughs> you just gotta act like you. <laughs> Act like you trying to hear everything. That's all. And they give you a yeah. shit. Y'all niggas lose. Y'all niggas lose y'all fucking double chin and can rock a turtleneck. Yo, I don't like that you just added Kevin to my shit. Say he got double chin too. You just gonna add him in? He didn't say yeah. that. He said he had a double chin. No, he did not. Said for people with small neck sizes, shorter neck sizes like me and you, not double chin. You wouldn't know what my shit looks like because you've been trying to achieve the beard that I have since you was a kid. I mean. It's too bad I mean, we don't have Puerto Rican beards. We could definitely, like we could, we could, all of us can stand to switch a couple yeah. things <laughs> so that to make each other better. <laughs> Yo, give me a beard. Borrow your beard, <laughs> Mister Potato Heads. Mister, <laughs> Dave, you need a little bit of hair up top, like so we can switch. We can switch that. You know what I'm saying? You know, snatch your beard off and throw it up top. And no, no, I don't need it. We can switch hey. your head with my beard. Kev there got the. Kev got the lined up eyebrows and shit. Yo, your shit, shit is yo, your, your shit is lined up, bro. You got the pencil joint. My they, eyebrows, they just sleep. no, my eyebrows they look just like just that. Sleep. No, my eyebrows look like that for life, though. Don't even do that to oh, me. Oh, so you've been getting oh, so you've been getting them lined up for life. My, I never got my eyebrows lined up. My you eyebrows sure? always look bro, never them in my at life. A point. I no swear way. on my kids' life, my I've eyebrows never, never been on. So I've oh, never dude. seen I've never seen cleaner eyebrows in my life. My bro. eyebrows look like that since forever. Like I don't know what you're talking about. That I you just look surprised all the time. Yeah, I, I got the people's <laughs> eyebrow going all the time. I got the perfect. perfect Can you do it through the people's eyebrow? Let me see that shit. Hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> I can do perfectly perfect. arched. Yeah, they they arch. I can't help that my eyebrows is arch. Look, look at what the, look at, he got the McDonald's. He must have had pretty yeah. eyes. So that's look cool. At, look at what Kev look. had. Look at what he has to show off. His eyebrows, eyebrows, <laughs> nice lot, nice long eyelashes. That's just natural shit. That is on my. It's a facial feature. I'm sorry. Looks great. Start yeah. the show. Start the show. I'm just saying. I'm Did just you saying. Hear how he commented as a, yeah. I commented on my stuff. Beautiful you eyes. I got beautiful eyes. Yeah. You heard the yeah. stick out. I got beautiful yeah. eyes. Yeah. Beautiful eyes. Look That's what they told you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> got beautiful yeah. eyes, my nigga. And yeah, you six okay. foot three. Yeah, okay, nigga. I wish a nigga would say some some, some tall as hell shit when like niggas that. look when you look down on niggas with them beautiful eyes. <laughs> off, off brand niggas say some perfect, off brand shit like perfectly that. Perfectly penciled eyebrows you got. They on no, fleek. Like, they are. They on, eye, they're on fleek. My eyebrows always look like this. Like I don't get my shit cut and arched or anything else. They just says they, you. Nigga, I got facts, Snapple facts, my nigga. You go back and check old pictures of me. My eyebrows look the same my whole entire life. Yeah, they they made they made salons that do eyebrows this whole time. So yeah, nigga, and I you never went the to ne- never went to one of them. Yeah, yeah. welcome yeah. to another episode of the Opinionated <laughs> Podcast. With these fucking two jerk off niggas is talking about my eyebrows. That's a that's a great intro, brother. Look like you, you're look right. Like that's the only intro I can give you. This COVID is mask office. model. This is a all this is an all thing. <laughs> You call me a COVID mask model. Get the guy with the eyebrows. We need him and the beauty, the beautiful eyes. <laughs> Who did your eyebrows? I was born like this. Get that nigga. Get that Get nigga him. right now. <laughs> Get him. What they call him? Listen, man. My kids got him. Oh my! That's how that's how I can tell my kids. Oh my kids yeah, got fast arch, and features, arch yeah, eyebrows. Pretty eyes yeah. and perfect eyebrows, yeah. bro. My kids, you see my kids. <laughs> this nigga said. This nigga said that's how I can tell if they mind. <laughs> I want you to continue. Just, just you know, just start the show, bro. I don't. I don't. Yeah, continue. Because I don't even want to get into it. We not. We're not. We're gonna get into a good show today, man. Talking about uh, in laws from hell. Oh, shit. Dre doesn't have any. Songs, I don't have so those. He's- he doesn't have those. He I mean, has. I don't have in-laws from hell neither. Soon to they, be in-laws. 
can, my mother in law is great, but I mean, is she, I can is speak she, on like situations I've had in the past. Wait, let me ask y'all both a question Would you consider your in laws to be in laws from hell? Meaning, like, your parents to your significant other? That's something that's something that's that's something you want to look at. You know what? That's good. I like that because I could jump into that a little bit. Okay, is your, it, okay. The, uh, listen, here go one thing is they constantly criticize you. Do you have an in law that like always criticize you everything you fucking do? Like, hey, you know, you could have did that a little bit better. Uh, I want to pick that house. I want to pick that area to live in. <laughs> I want to pick uh, that house. It's crazy. Uh, oh, that your car. Did, did you check the gas mileage on it? Why is your grass not cut? Why every time I come over here, your house is dirty? Yo, Yo who are these people? Because you know what? You, no, 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 no. Two things. And that's why it's weird when it comes to men. I mean, nobody ever going, I don't care if it's your woman's, your, your girl's dad or her mom. Ain't nobody ever, or my mom or dad. You ain't never going to come to my house and tell me how shit should go. Ever. A house that I paid a mortgage at and tell me how shit should look. You can get the fuck out. <laughs> That's what you gonna tell them. They get the y'all don't shit. y'all don't no, say the I same understand. shit. What are you talking about? No, I understand. Go take your ass home. Speak on it. Go home. No, I had an in law. I had an in law like, <clears throat> crit- constantly criticize. Little like just always has some most slick shit to say. You just get the motherfucker to look like yo. Every time I do something, you got something to fucking follow up with it. Like the fuck. Motherfucker, you don't like me. Just come out and tell me you don't like me. I could be gone. I, I really don't care. Or you could be gone from this situation. No. I don't give a fuck. I remove myself from the equation. Whether you here <clears throat> in my life or gone, Go I'm good. I, I, I keep it 100. I don't even need in-laws for that. I got regular family members that be on that type of time. You know I'm what I'm saying? About, but I'm talking about your in-laws, man, because at the end of the day, that's somebody's... That is your significant other parent. So... <laughs> They hit you with the line. Oh, they always like that. They're always. I mean, we get that. We get. I mean, they I look at it like this: when you're with, when you're the person that's on. Technically, you're on the outside of the family, making your way in. So when it could, like, for us to be in men and us taking, uh, pretty much taking their daughters, we're getting married to their daughters. We're changing the life that they used to know to a life that, you know, we know now, and they're gonna have criticism about the way you do things one because it's older school you know what i'm saying they come from a different time era even with us being the age that we are there's still another era above us and two they're used to having things done a certain way for the majority of their life and when they see it done different after they've been teaching their kid maybe to do things a certain way they feel like they should chime in or you know Maybe they're worried about something that's going on. They feel as though you could have did it a different way. I feel like those situations are inevitable regardless of if it's done out of malice or if it's done out of um, because they care about you, because they care about the situation that's going on, or they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to pay for it. They don't want to be responsible for it. They don't want to see the dumb shit. So I feel like it's inevitable for you to have to go through that type of scenario where they're going to critique something. You know what I mean? Uh um, does it get does it get to the point where it's annoying? Like fu- like yo, all right, man. <laughs> like that's the fourth fucking thing you said criticized me about in my house since you've been here. Or I've been in your house and you criticized me about. Can it get annoying? I mean, I would I would assume that it would get annoying. Repetitive shit, especially if it's in you one sitting, you come to visit. Next thing you know, they talking about this, that you bring up something that you did. And then they talk about, oh, well, you should have did it like this or you should have did it like that. Or I would have done it like this. Maybe you should try it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel as though. So it's in delivery. Well, I mean, the way Kev was was bringing it up. I'm assuming that that's how it was. Right. Like somebody just constantly critiquing you. I mean, not just, you know, whenever they see you, but just in one sitting. Multiple critiques. Nah, they, 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 they didn't nah, like they, you. I'm gonna let you know that right now. They didn't <laughs> like you, bro. And I'm not saying that even to be funny. Like I just okay. think that that no. Talk about you. Damn. You. No. Yes. They ain't like you, bro. Oh. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think. Uh. I don't know how to take that shit. Said, Wait a minute, <laughs> this is new news to me. This motherfucker. I'm talking about from your uh from your past. Not right now. Oh. Uh. I mean, for the most part, yeah, but 
I had one that was just we just say slick shit every time. I, mean, I, I was joking, but I just wanted yeah. to see what you was gonna say. I was you gonna see say the nigga? Was. The nigga came to a realization like, wait a minute, hey, this me? nigga's not complimenting me. <laughs> Hold up, <laughs> nigga, talk shit so. But I would have one like my my ex like we we'll always we we'll always come over have something slick to say like oh, mm, y'all cooking that or mm. when y'all going. Oh, Mm, y'all look at y'all laundry room. Y'all, 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 y'all still washing clothes? Like oh, bitch, today's shit. laundry. Like bitch, today's laundry day. That's why that laundry room looks like that. Let me let me put a little bit more sauce on this. Um, or just or or not? No, nah, go ahead. Put some sauce on it. Do you think that that could be contributed to the already weird family dynamic? Because that's that's the one thing I do want to bring up, and I hope you don't mind uh, from the past. I think. That family dynamic was weird from the get go. Like everybody was in everybody's business, so they felt comfortable enough to say, "Oh, y'all doing this and y'all doing that." But in normal people's standpoint, it's like all of us we mind our fucking business. You go over somebody's house, I'm minding my business because it ain't got shit to do with me. That's your house. But yeah. with certain people, when their family dynamic is always in each other's business, then now you're marrying into a family where everybody in your business now. Yeah, I, I was that shit is like yeah, and maybe it's like that, but the shit was just after a while. If you know me for long enough, you you would know like yo, don't do that to this motherfucker. Because after a while, I was like, I just start checking motherfuckers, and I didn't care. Like I look around, like I look. Oh, you're not gonna say nothing. Cool. I'm gonna say how I feel like saying it. And they're like, oh, I didn't mean. And then the first thing is, I didn't mean it like that. You know, why you gotta get so hostile? I'm a fucker because you you came at me with the hostility as I felt, so I'm coming back to you with the shit. I gave sure. I gave I gave my significant other enough time to check you. She she don't want to check you. I check you. How I'm going to check you is going to be completely different than how she's going to check you. That's your daughter. I don't give a fuck. I'm married in this family. I don't give a fuck about n- none of y'all. Whether you like me or now, you got to deal with me. I don't care. My life is going to go on the same way, whether you're in it or out of it. Nothing's going to change. So it was like, yo, I just got tired of the criticism. Like, yo, every time I see you, you got something negative to say. You're not fucking, is nothing positive. And at the time, my fucking, my situation was fucked up. So that gave, that lit, led, I guess it, they felt they was entitled to, Criticized me because my situation was fucked up at the time. So it was like, oh yeah, well you really ain't on your game right now. So I got room to criticize you for what, for what you're not doing. You think a conversation could change that? And and I'm talking about with any, not your situation, but just in anybody's situation that you know their in laws are a little bit too had too much input. Do you think you can actually sit down with those people and say, yo, I think y'all be in our business too much, and I think you be criticizing too much i think y'all need to chill out with y'all do you think that goes well or it doesn't matter say it again Reset it again so i gotta send the question um do you think a conversation can change that in anybody's situation when they have in-laws that have too much input or if do you think pers- people are just assholes pers- if the person is open-minded for an adult and is also an adult a conversation could change that because a conversation can be like, you know, you tell that to them. They're like, oh, I didn't know. I was just giving my input for help. You know, I didn't realize that, you know, this was affecting our relationship and your relationship. I'll relax with that now. But if you got a person that just fucking doesn't oblivious to the shit, they like, I, you know, they just be rude with the shit. They just, well, I was just trying to help and blow you the fuck off. And the next time you see, see you do the same shit again. It's like, you know what, this person's a fucking idiot. You know, talking to them is is not gonna get you anywhere. You know, they wanna come off like that. You just come off fucking like that with the same negative energy they give you. Come back with the same negative. And another thing that led to is like, yo, which is another bad thing about an in-law from hell is they're fucking controlling. They control, they try to control every aspect of your life and what's going on in your household. Like, you know. You got the 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 I never like had to deal like to deal with the mail, but I seen you know guys come over like fucking husband ain't fixed this shit yet, or you know you'll suck it if you let that happen. Yeah, you need to <laughs> let you need to let him. You need to tell him what he needs to do, or, and mother in laws do that too. You need to tell him he needs to do this and that. 
well, my daughter's not going to do this. You're going to do this. Like, what? Who, who the fuck are you talking to? That's what, they, that's what they be telling you? Yeah, like, my daughter's not, you're going to do that. I'm telling her what she needs to do with you. Like, they're controlled. They're, they got the puppet strings on the door, and the daughter is like, oh, I can't break free from what my mother's telling me. I got to go along with it. I told y'all that, before, and I, I'm getting feedback from one of y'all. Um, I told y'all before. Me. It's me. My bad. Yeah, I told y'all before. If you got that, you need to get out of there anyway. I don't care who you are, Put because the up, man. if they wait. if if they um if they have their mother telling them what to do, you you're not in a marriage with her. You're in a marriage with her and her mother. Yeah, your mom's it, in my business. It, she's in my business. Yeah, um, th there is no way you can get out of that. Absolutely no positive way to get out of that because that's something that she has within her dynamic with her mother. She's never going to break out of that. She's never yeah. going to choose you over her mother, which that's the way it's supposed to go. People, yeah. I don't know if y'all know that. It's me before her, and I got your back no matter what. And you have to trust that. You know what I'm saying? Our decisions get made with me and you, not me, you, and her. Man, let's or vice versa. I, I feel like when. See, I kind of got a scenario like that because my wife is the youngest child. Her mother and father influenced her life greatly. They pretty much showed her the ropes to life from beginning to end. You know what I mean? So when it comes to advice and things like that, she's more inclined to listen to who she's been listening to the majority of her life before she decides, oh, you're maybe I'll try your advice first this time. <clears throat> I got kind of used to it because... Not for nothing. I like being like, yeah, I told you. You know what I mean? Like, I told you so. But because when it happens, you'll be like, man, I should have listened. Yeah, you should listen to me. I'll be telling you these things. I'm not telling you these things to see you fail. I'm telling you these things because I know what I'm talking about. If your parents have more of uh, an idea or I feel as though they know what they're talking about more than what I know, then I'm going to tell you, yo, you should listen to them. But when we have to deal with stuff in our house, we have to banter what's best for us. When someone who's on the outside doesn't don't necessarily know everything that's involved in the situation, they just got ideas from what they're used to, what they've been through. It's not necessarily the, the same scenario with us, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but you're always inclined to listen to the person who's given you the most advice, and it's been good advice, and you know it's for your your own benefit and your own good. You know for a fact that they're looking out for you because this is what. They're here for to look out for you. So I can understand that, that level of wanting to get that advice over you. But there's going to be, a, there's going to come a time when you got to be able to keep your in house things in house. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's why a lot of times I won't even refer to other people when it comes, no, nah, we got to figure this problem out. You know what I mean? And then I'll tell them something after we've done. After we figured it out, after we've got a resolution, then I'll have a conversation about it. And then if you proceed to be like, oh, well, you should have did this. And we're like, oh, well, next time I know, maybe I shouldn't tell you shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's how I am, though. <laughs> now, next time Correct. I know, hmm, I won't bring this to your attention <laughs> because I don't really need you to tell me what I should have did, especially after you're already done. You did whatever you had to do. And then you realize, damn, I could have went about it that way. Now I feel like you just fucking digging the dirt digging in the dirt, trying to lift up, you know what I mean? Trying to lift up more issues. Because there's no point of you telling me what I should have did if it's already done. If well, I'm looking for what? advice and you and you can give me that advice before I do it, then it's like, ah, oh, cool. Well, it's, it's what, see, the thing about advice, what you said, people can give you advice. Advice is something that somebody gives you a nugget and you can either take the nugget and run with it and do that, or you can brush it off the shoulder. As a there's another thing when they're controlling the situation where it's they're coming in your household and they're telling you X, Y, Z needs to be done. And your <laughs> wife is like hopping to it right then and there and fucking going to do it. Like, like they're still a kid in the situation. Like, Oh, I'm fucking did. I can't believe them. Get the mother-in-law comes over. You still got dirty dishes in that damn sink. Girl, go do them dishes now and clean this house up. And she moves and runs in the kitchen. Start nah, nah. I fuck with her mom on that. <laughs> no, I fuck with her mom on that. <laughs> or, or, but in the same thing, like she's saying that, and she goes to you and look like, oh, look, Trey, I got them grass out there ain't cut yet. Go get up and go cut that grass right now. I can't believe you got your lawn looking like that. 
And that's when I'll call up Jose and them. Ew. <laughs> y'all niggas late. Saying? I paid y'all fifty dollars. Get it done. <laughs> that's yeah. as far as it's gonna go. Cause you I ain't getting up and going to do shit. Or or you know what I mean? Maybe you come in the house, y'all got kids. Your kids' bedtime is say it's on the weekend, it's nine o'clock. Hey, the kids go to bed at nine o'clock in this house on Saturday, Sunday, they're the babies. Your mother in law comes on. It's eight thirty. Why the kids are still up? Get take y'all ass to bed. It's eight thirty. Go to sleep. Like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just visiting. <laughs> Chill. I, their bedtime's nine o'clock. Well, they need to be in bed now. And your wife, like, oh no, it's, it's okay, mom. It's okay. I'm I'm putting them to bed now. That's a controlling situation. It's yeah, like, yo, you you just came in my motherfucking crib and told how everything's supposed to be coming down, and you just visited. You yeah. don't pay a fucking bill in this house. You don't contribute shit to this house. If anything breaks in this house, I, I'm not coming to you to snatch money out of your pocket to come get it fixed. I'm fucking providing for the shit to get it fixed. Right. <clears throat> Does or that the kid, kid's sick, you ain't fucking running to the hospital or calling the doctors. You home sleeping and chilling. I'm doing that shit. Chill the yeah. fuck out. Sit your ass over here and come visit like you came to do. Don't bring your ass over here with your control ways. If that's the case, take your motherfucking ass home. She can come visit you at your house. <laughs> with your controlling ways. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Does that scenario change if they are fucking investing in y'all future, whatever? Maybe they have to y'all pay for shit. Or... I, I just want to know because you were giving out you were giving out examples if of you are, why they can't do something. If they are doing one of those examples that you've given, does that change the dynamic of what they can say and what they can't say in your house? Well, you guess what? If if you if they're taking care of a situation, then you don't have a fucking say so in what they're doing because you fucking naturally dependent on them to keep providing for you, and that's a fucking real shit. Only thing I can say that goes in that category bucket is maybe babysitting the kids but if they're fucking cleaning your house and paying your bills and cutting your grass and doing any other fucking thing then that's your roommate you should, you should, you should, you should yeah you should take <laughs> nah they your fuck they your parents they ain't even your in-law they your motherfucking parents and you too old to be still having your parents do this shit you should break free of that shit you know what i'm saying you that's a fucking bad example you said <laughs> mom when we going to bed yeah when we going to bed <laughs> mom we cannot eat like you shouldn't. I don't give a fuck if a person got to contribute that much on your household. Another parent and you consider yourself grown because you fucking, and you ain't fucking grown. You gotta listen to whatever the fuck they saying. But mm. I, 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 yo, so, I'm past that. So shit. So I'm so past that situation. Like the cable like, bill, you you susceptible to them having to say what goes watch? on in your house. Yeah, what y'all watch? Hell, <laughs> uh, that's what, you know what I mean. I'm just saying real shit. You really got it. Like, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Parents, yo, parents, I got kids. I got it. I don't want to joke it there. No, nah, I'm not <laughs> going to joke it there. This is what y'all saying. This is something serious. Now, nah, think about this shit. This is, something, this is something serious right now. If you, I got a kid that's 21. There's certain things I'm going to always do for my kid if she calls me, she needs my help. Then I'm going to help her out with. But I'm not going to be the one sitting up like, you know, I'm coming to cut your grass every fucking weekend. Niggas laying up in your crib. And I'm not going to be the one fixing your car if it breaks if you got a nigga living up in your crib. Because once that happens, I got then I do have a say-so in your fucking house. Because you got a kid there. Hmm. You you got a fucking another kid. So I'll get to tell this kid what to fucking do. I'm cutting the grass. Hey, man, bring your ass outside, dog. <laughs> Pick these motherfucking sticks up in this trash up in this yard so I before I cut this grass. Let's stay here. Yeah, Let's I, stay there. Let's stay there for a second. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. So, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You being a parent, and let's say your daughter has a man, they live together, and you see that he ain't doing the shit he's supposed to. And you're in from your standpoint, he's not doing what he's supposed to do as far as running the house. Like the grass ain't cut and all that, all the stuff that you just named. Do you think you have a right to go in there and start? Because I want you to stay there where you're at. Because I see where you was going. Do you think you have the right to walk in there and start telling people what to do? If if I'm being, I got a right for y'all. By the way, I got the right to say something one time, maybe twice, and then I won't come over there no more. Get what I'm saying? I just won't come over there. My daughter won't come see, come see my house. But if I'm the one coming over there cutting the grass, say the grass, say the grass is the issue. And every weekend my daughter's cut, calling me 
while this grown man's laid up to cut this grass, calling me, waking me up out on my Saturday or for my Saturday to come to your house and cut your grass every Saturday. I'm doing it. Look at me though, if please. This shit in my, I, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the camera, ain't I? I'm sorry. Yeah, I you are. Don't pay Jay um, no fucking money. <laughs> I, I, I can't see them all the way off. Me <laughs> yeah, so so if I come over there one weekend and, and my weekend's been in, interrupted for cutting your grass and this shit in the yard that obstructed me, I'm gonna say to the boy, "Yo, man, get up, man. I need you to come out here, pick this shit up out of this yard, clean this yard up, so I can uh, run my lawnmower, so I run nothing over." Yeah, I got the right to say that to you. You know why I got the right to say that to you? Because you you a little boy in the situation. You put me in charge of something. That I shouldn't be in charge of something you should be doing. Now I get to talk to you anyway when it comes to that situation because I ain't gonna come at you fucking crazy. But I'm like, yo, man, put some clothes on, come on outside, get this up, get this up, get that up, move this out the way. You interrupted me. This ain't my motherfucking house, it's your house. I could be home relaxing. So I got the right to say that. I tell you what, I won't have the right to say if he's cutting that grass every week and he's doing that shit, Mm -hmm. and I see the grass is fucked up and shit laying in the yard. He's taking care of it. You ain't, okay. I can't say nothing. You're not interrupting my fucking weekend. You're not interrupting my time with my family at home. I just came to visit. It's like, hey, what's up? I go home and tell my wife, you man, they, they fucking long looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, I guess, and that's be the type of person I like. I'm not, I'm not at Kev's point in life where he could potentially have have a child have their own and then have someone living with them you're a little further on in life than i am but when that scenario does come to me i feel like I, if i come over there to visit i'm just i'm just there my daughter knows how i'm gonna be whenever i'm somewhere she knows how i'm gonna react i ain't got to say shit you know what i'm saying like you said i might come home to my wife and be like yo these niggas is wild and they live in foul they live crazy i mean <laughs> now i can't I can't throw no stones because my house isn't immaculate. You know what I mean? There's we still have to do cleaning. We got two dogs who think they do whatever the fuck we can do. You know what I mean? But for the most part, when I'm at someone else's house, it's not my motherfucking business, especially if I'm not putting nothing into it. Even if I am putting something into it, you know what I'm saying? That's that's my kid. I'm gonna do that for her, not necessarily for them. If she's asking me, I'm going to do it for her. If I built a relationship with them together and I fuck with whoever she's with like that, then I'm going to do it for them because I now care for him as well. You guys are a unit. You know what I mean? But when it comes to y'all in-house shit, unless you putting your hands on my kid, I'm not really getting involved. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that is y'all life now. You have to learn how to live this life with this person and get what you want out of it. If you can't get what you want out of it, maybe you should rethink the scenario that you in. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not here to cut your grass. I'm not here to do your dishes. I ain't here to wash your clothes. I'm not here for none of that. I'm here to see if you got any beer in the fridge. I'm here to see, you know what I mean, what y'all watching so I can sit back and watch with y'all, have conversations with y'all. I'm here visiting and then I'm leaving. You know what I mean? The same shit that you do when you come to my house. You see what's in my fridge. You do. You watch TV. You're talking to me. You're talking to your mother, or your stepmother, and and then you're leaving. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm looking for there. Maybe some dinner. What y'all cooking for dinner? I might stay. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But other than that, I'm not here to critique you on your life. Don't I got one for just, y'all. By the just way, don't have no motherfucking bugs and shit. I ain't coming there if you got bugs and shit and bringing nothing yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, I'm I'll tell, and I'll tell you that right then and there. Like, nah, <laughs> nigga, I ain't coming there. Y'all should know. Y'all got I want you. Yeah, I want both of y'all <laughs> to stay right there. I want both of y'all to stay right there. Let's let me put some. Let me put something else on the fire. Hey, start cooking. What if? What if? <laughs> what if? Your and you can play this both ways, whether you're the person on the other end or if you're the parent. The other person is putting their parent in it. Like, I'll give you an example. If, um, if you are the father coming over and your daughter is saying, yeah, I got to go outside and cut the grass because this nigga won't cut the grass. Or I got to do the dishes because this nigga won't do the dishes. Or I got to do this because this nigga, like she, they putting you in it. At that point, you still mind your business? Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna tell her straight up. I'm gonna tell her straight up. Like somebody's got to do it. I mean, it's your house, right? You, this is your things, right? 
Are you mm. making dishes too? Is this, you know what I mean? Y'all not listen. If you want him to cut the grass and he don't want to cut the grass, what you want me to come over and make your man cut y'all grass? She like, might. No, she I'm not. I'm not here for that. I'm not here to tell adults how to be adults now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We not y'all not kids no more. I taught you how to do these things. So I teach my daughter how to do things so she doesn't need to have anyone do it for her. If my wife decides that she wants to cut the grass, she'll go out there and cut the fucking grass. Mm. Now, she ain't going to hedge the yard. She's going to expect my ass to get out there and hedge the yard. So it'll look crazy. And then I'll be, like, I'll be like, fuck. Tonight now I got to short the knot. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, me on the other end, me on the other hand, hand I'm like, yo, your stupid ass still with him. Mm. Exactly what I say. Your okay. dumb ass, your dumb ass still with him. What you want me to tell you to do? Well, I'm going there, yeah. I go in there, yell, scream, cuss, make it fit, beat the motherfucker up, do whatever. Guess what? You're gonna be with this dumb ass again tomorrow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What the fuck you want me to say? And your grass you, still ain't going to be cut. Yeah. <laughs> when you... When you... <laughs> when you just... What's up with you? No, 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 no. We're not going to continue. Bro, what's up with you today? Shit, Come on, bro. Yeah. Come on. What? I'm trying to make clips, nigga. It's like, now, I'm trying make... to give y'all some... I'm trying to give y'all some advice real quick. Because this is a serious subject. I'm here I right now. I ain't no fucking kids. I'm, get what I'm saying? I'm... I, yeah, real shit. This is important to me because I'm at that stage in my life. My daughter's 21, so mm-hmm. my daughter was just dealing with somebody that I, I don't even. And she told me the situation about dude. I is like left a whole bad taste in my mouth. Mm. So I could see her winding up with motherfucking idiots like this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna come across with the same energy. You you you, you still with him? Your dumb ass still with him? Fuck you, me say. Like, what do you want me? What do you seriously want me to do? I, yeah, I can go in there, I can call, I can fuck him up, I can call a hundred motherfuckers over here, beat this motherfucker up. What you gonna do? Be mad at me the next day and be still with this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Can I make a joke real quick? Calling somebody up to yeah. beat up your son-in-law because he ain't cutting the grass. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, listen, let man, alone a hundred niggas. Here he comes to do it. You act like I'm getting younger. You act like I'm getting younger, nigga. As as she gets older, nigga, I get older. I got about two minutes of fight left in me. I got, yeah, but, two, I got a good scenario in itself. Two fighting, you going over to fight the nigga because he ain't cutting <laughs> the grass is crazy. All right? yeah, so you gonna go cut the grass, dog? You gonna go cut the grass? Huh? I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I don't mean phys- like. If he <laughs> that's ain't funny. Cutting grass, I don't mean I'm gonna really whip the nigga ass. <laughs> but I'm gonna say, but I'm, that's what I'm gonna say to her. Like, what the fuck you want me to go there and slap this nigga up and? Like, you know what I'm saying? You want me to go in there and play bully on this nigga to make this nigga do something? I don't got no control over this situation. Guess what? It's 100 degrees outside. The grass needs to be cut. Y'all about to get a fine. He ain't getting up to cut it. Your dumb ass is going out there to cut it. You still with him. He ain't here chilling, playing PlayStation and that, 8. And after you, and you out the there grass, cutting the grass like an idiot. You gonna make breakfast or dinner. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> wow. What the fuck I think, you want me saying, though, is right, though, because you making them realize the things that they have to go through that mm-hmm. they don't want to go through may alter their choices. Well, Kev, what if you actually like the boy though? Like, what if he a cool I young man know. and he just don't like cutting the grass, doing nigga. laundry, or... Yeah. I'll what if he not really just... lazy? What if the nigga really be working like that? Not I'll everybody got the same ethics as you do. They're not going to work uh... a 70 hour week when they come home. The only time they got off is a Saturday morning and they get up to cut the grass. You know what I mean? That might not be. Uh, don't where give he fuck. You I'll coming to cut that. that grass for him because you know he's no, doing I'm not 70s? Cutting sh- I'm not cutting <laughs> sh- <laughs> shit. You know I'm not because this is Kev, that's Kev's life. Kev works oh. 60 to 70 hours mm-hmm. in a week. And then he'll go on his roof on a Saturday morning and build a new roof, or he'll <laughs> cut down the trees in the neighborhood and build a fall, fo- build a clubhouse for the kids for the in the children. backyard for the children <laughs> with super glue. And then the nigga, fucking, he, 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 I say okay. that jokingly, but this uh, nigga is the epitome yes. of a hardworking man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, is, no bullshit. But not this everybody got all your type time, so you're not gonna come and lend uh, a hand. I'm not lending shit. <laughs> I lend advice. You want to borrow nigga. my ride? You want to borrow my ride and lawnmower, nigga? You gonna cut this grass though? If you I shouldn't like be you. handling any riding lawnmowers for the rest of your oh, fucking man, life. Shut bro. the fuck up, nigga. 
<laughs> you shouldn't be touching them shits, though. <laughs> them uh, shits yeah. put you on your <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> so please. please. That was a dumb decision made on my dumb ass <laughs> part. But real shit, though. I wish somebody back got the young man. It's like, yo. Me too. Get back, get back to the young man, pull this nigga to the side. Like, yo, let me tell you something, dog. I like you, but let me make something clear to you. My daughter cook for you every night? He says, yeah. All right, cool. She wash your clothes when they dirty, right? Yeah. All right, cool. She makes sure that inside his crib is clean. Yeah. All right, nigga. Well, if that yard fucked up, that yard better be fucking taken care of. You need to come borrow some tools to get your yard cleaned up? Come get them. Do it. Her car fucked up. You don't know how to fix it. Bring it to the crib. What if I'll over show you how I show you how to do it. I ain't doing it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You gonna do it. You might know how if to some, fix it. Uh, I don't give a fuck. If, if something broke in that house, man, I don't give a fuck. If look. my daughter, if my daughter working and he working too, but my daughter doing her responsibility as the woman of the house, nigga, you gonna do the responsibility as a man house. You ain't sitting up playing no fucking PlayStation. So what? She might work the same amount of hours as you. She ain't doing all this dumb shit. Get your fucking lazy ass up. Y'all both tired, but y'all got a house. Y'all don't want this responsibility house. Yeah, maybe y'all should have got an apartment where they cut the grass for y'all. They fix the roof, something breaking the house. Y'all call maintenance or whatever. Y'all split the responsibility on cleaning around the house and washing clothes. But it's a 50 fit. Y'all in a 50 50 relationship. This ain't no, this ain't your mother. My daughter ain't your fucking mom. Get what I'm saying? My daughter ain't gonna be none of my daughters gonna be nobody mom. Just like my sons ain't gonna be nobody sons to somebody else's daughter who they dating. Yo, go take care of your fucking responsibility. If I go to my son's house and the grass is fucked up, my sons, they already know what type time come. Yo, man, get you take your ass outside, cut that fucking grass. What if his what wife you? don't? What if his like wife don't like you coming in his house saying that? Guess what? I'm gonna say it one time, and I probably won't be invited to that motherfucker again. It's cool. I'm only saying that because I want you to see it from both sides, like some things that might make sense to us as grown, grown men. That's, and you guys who have the, raised, you've raised these kids, right? But that's so the to thing. you. Hold on one second. You, you see it as no, I'm just telling my kid how they should do what they need to do. I'm still teaching them, but maybe their significant other looks at that as, yo, you need to tell your dad to stop coming in here and telling us what to do around our house. I just see, wanted you to see it from both sides. That's both angles. Now, see, here's the thing. I I have a conversation. I ain't gonna come <clears> in. I'm like, yo, son, look at your grass, bro. Like, how did I raise you? I tell my sons, my sons cut. This is the reason my sons do shit now. It's like, yo, I'm raising my sons a certain way. I'm not raising them to be no lazy motherfuckers. Because I'm like, yo, how did I? I don't even gotta come on that type time. The grass fucked up. I'm look at that grass, like, yo, son, how did I raise you? What did I do every Saturday? And they're going to go back, yeah, daddy, the X, Y, Z. Come on, explain this to me, dog. Explain this to me. Because the same way I'm coming over there as your dad, saying this to you as your dad, I'm pretty sure if her dad's in her life, he's telling this shit to her daughter like, yo, you got a lazy nigga. That's a reflection on me. You know what I'm saying? That's a reflection on me on how I raised you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How I raised you. Okay. Because there's certain times you look at the, a, a girl you dang like, yo, who the fuck? Who raised you? Like, who fucking raised you? That, that is an indictment on uh, me. That is an indictment on me. It is. That's a fucking indictment on me. Like, yo, this nigga raised some bum-ass sons. That's your worst fear? That's a, yeah, that's a that's a bad fear as a dad. That's a, that's a hit piece to your fucking pride. Come okay. on, man. If you had a son... And you raise your son with certain morals and values, whatever, to be a go-getter or, or be a hard worker. Mm -hmm. And that shit's not reflected. And the, another parent, you meet him and you and 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 your son comes to you like, yo, man, her dad always said I'm lazy and da 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 this and that. I'm no good. You want to take a shot. That's a shot at you because you raised him to be that way. Lazy. Yes, you took yeah. that is a personal shot at you, whether uh it's Indirect or directly, it's a it's a shot at you. It's it's an interesting way to look at it because you definitely I don't have kids, but if I did, yeah, I would take pride in obviously how they grow up. So you would want them to do certain things, but every kid ain't gonna turn out how you raise them to turn you know turn out. 
I've seen that. I've seen a motherfucker be raised a certain way and just turn out, just do crazy shit. Because mm, whatever yeah. they, whatever they, however they live their life, they just do shit weird or lazy or it, go hard. I, I don't, you know. But it is certain shit that sticks. It's certain shit you instill in a kid that they do that shit unconsciously. They just do that shit. Like my brother, my brother KB. You know what I mean? That nigga's a, he goes to extreme sometime when he was younger as a G, but my dad always my dad raised us to be, yo, nobody nobody's the punk, y'all. Y'all ain't, ain't to be scared of nobody, y'all ain't to fear nobody, ain't nobody to hurt your moms or your little brothers or hurt or hurt your family. My brother just took this shit to another level. You get what I'm saying? He just he was like, yo, he's taking shit too far. But he's just doing what he was taught. You know what I'm saying? But he's snitching. like, nah, I ain't snitching. I'm just saying, he's a wild, y'all know, he's a wild dude. It's certain shit that, you know what I mean? It's certain shit that I might, it's certain shit that I might do that my dad be like, you know what? I'm disappointed in you. Like, I didn't raise you like that. And that shit hurts. It hurts when your parents say they're disappointed mm -hmm. at you. Like, I didn't raise you like that. Mm -hmm. and you got to sit back and be like, ah, you, you right. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to take that as a, a life lesson. Man. And as you get older, you mature and you become a good person. Because I see a lot of bum ass niggas. I see niggas, I be like, yo, I hear stories of niggas like, yo, niggas ain't taking care of this, ain't taking care of that at home. Mm -hmm. And they talk about they the man in the crib. I'm looking at a nigga like, not from what I'm hearing on the streets, though. <laughs> I'm hearing completely different things. Like, it's wild. It's like you hear shit and then you hear other shit that be going on, like, what the girl is doing because you ain't taking care of shit at home. Mm. It's like, mm, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna speak on that shit. <laughs> we going way yeah, off on the different, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, going on on a different thing. Let's just bring this shit back to what we talking about. So fuck. I, right? I, I tell you, I tell you, I, it's a whole different story, but but it's how you uh, but uh, let's talk about uh, uh, parents manipulating you and being manipulative. <laughs> you I hear them, right? Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I fucked the word. You let, you let your mouth. You let your mouth running. I'm not a good. I'm not a good sayer of words. I'm like, eh, it said his yeah. mouth was idle. <laughs> a good sayer of words. I mean, I give you a fix for that. Just don't say nothing when you have nothing to say. It's just. I just moved off that subject. I'm, I'm, on, I'm doing pot. So. This is this is the realness of the podcast. Is these we, we're living real life while we're filming this. So. Oh exactly. my god! Enjoy. Uh, so, a little bit. Was it manipulative? Right? They manipulate your fucking relationship. They 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 uh they they do I, shit. They come in your house and do little sneaky shit. I uh, can't believe you said that to me. I feel like, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but I want to like add this preface to it. I feel like this is when you let the other things that we talked about go on for too long. Like this is the result of that. If they're yeah. in your relationship manipulating things or in your house manipulating things, it's because you let the other shit go on for too long. Them nitpicking at certain stuff. Now they feel like, well, shit, I'm going to get, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to get you to do what I want either way. And I think that stems from you know, their childhood, if they manipulating your, your household and your relationship, they've been doing it to their child for, the, for longer. You know what I mean? But continue. But that's yeah. a bad thing, bro. I've seen that shit go on. That shit. And it wasn't, it's not even, and it's from the in-law. It's even from like, the, this is like from the siblings. I'm like, yo, their relationship is fucking bad. And you take in advice from a person in a bad relationship trying to give you advice in your relationship you really think it's going to make it better like like it's not like it's just why are you listening to them they don't have what good advice can a person in a bad relationship have to give to you and you're taking oh. that and then putting that in our relationship and you're fucking up our and you wonder why our relationship ain't going well yes i really be saying that as hate like yes. somebody is just they they see what someone else has and They'd be like, oh, if I would have did it this way, then this, you know what I mean? Or you guys, you you let that happen. Or they just be saying shit to see the unhappiness just, mm -hmm. just show because they can't have what y'all have. And that's why I'm a firm believer in we mind our motherfucking business in this house. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm te I'm, I'm I'm teaching my wife to mind her business more. I mean, when it comes to her friends, she's Yo, like, elaborate, bro. Elaborate, please. <laughs> All right. So just in general, like when she, she'll tell me something. And she'll like tell me like the friends that she hangs out with, but if it isn't her immediate 
friends that she sees on a normal basis. I don't give a fuck about them at all. I don't remember them. I don't. I could have met them. I won't remember their name. I meet them once every four months, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I don't really go. We don't. We don't. We work too much to go out. And when she goes out, I'm normally at work. She'll go mm-hmm. out with her girlfriends. They have their their girl nights on Friday, whatever the case may be. And on Saturday, I like to chill, and she like to, you know, she like to come back from whatever she fucking went through the night before so we like to just relax i got my kids we might have an event like we went yesterday to the to the wine festival or something we do little shit but for the most part we don't hang out with each other's extended friends it's either family or close friends you know what i mean so she'll tell me stories about these people and she'll be like yeah you know such and such i couldn't even remember a name to give you even if I wanted to, but she'd be like, such and such, they this happened and that happened. She'd be like, You remember this person, right? And I'd be like, Nah, but you've met him before. I don't, I don't know him. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on my business. That's why I'll never remember him. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care enough to, unless we've seen each other on multiple times and we've actually in, interacted with each other, but you'll introduce me to somebody and I'll be like, hey, what's up? And they'll say, hey, what's up? And that'll be the last thing I say to them the whole night. You know what I mean? I don't have an interest in meeting new people and, and attaching them to my life at this point. I got enough of those. So, for instance, we were on our way to the wine festival and we're following the GPS. And I noticed we're supposed to be getting off at it's like 26B or some goofy shit like that. We're coming up on, hey, I'm trying to move over to the left lane. She yells while I'm driving like, no, we need to be in this lane. We need to be in this lane. And I am I get a little scared because you're yelling. I need to be somewhere else. You, <laughs> So I just stay where I'm at. Like, oh, shit, I thought we were supposed to be over here. I look at it. And we were actually supposed to go to the left. And she says to me, because she's upset because she has to piss really bad. Now I just added another 15, 20 minutes on to our trip. So she says to me, I can't believe I did that. You always tell me I need to mind my business. <laughs> see how you learn your lesson? <laughs> and I said, you see, you see, if you had a mind your business, we'd have been in the right lane. <laughs> when she said that, it made, it, it was funny. It made you smile. It made you smile. It warmed my heart. Like, see, you're listening to me. <laughs> And this example affects you directly now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, now you have to wait because I'm not pulling over nowhere. You got to wait and hold your urine like an adult. So <laughs> little shit like that lets me know, like, yeah, you don't, you're don't, you not doing a great job of minding your business, but you know that sh- you know it's something you need to work on. And that's what we work on in this house, minding our fucking business. So even if it is my daughter and her boyfriend or, or Kev, if you're one of your sons and you, and and they have a new girl or your daughter has a new dude even when they tell me stuff i'm gonna take it in and but that ain't none of my business yo that's y'all shit right now you know what i mean you want that done you have to figure out how to get that from the person that you want to be with and the relationship stay strong and if you can't then it's going to affect you to the point where you're going to be unhappy. And what happens when you're unhappy, you're going to do something dumb or they're going to do something dumb and you're going to want me to get involved. And I'm going to tell you what I told you when I first had this conversation with you. I'm not, it's not, it's none of my business. Is he putting his hands on you? No. Or, or for, if it's one of Kev's sons, you better not be putting your hands on her dog. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if, if it's not so, if a person doesn't want to do it, more than likely, if they're if it's not because they're just fucking grossly tired from whatever else they have going on in their life, they just don't want to do these things for you. They don't have a care or want to extenuate themselves to want to get this done for you. Because if my wife comes in there one day and be like, babe, I need you to cut the grass. That morning, I'm cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? Babe, I, I need this done. If she needs me to do something, I'm going to do it for her because... We both do a lot of things. Maybe I'm taking a stress off of her. You know what I mean? That she just doesn't want to deal with at this time. However, I can help you so we can sustain our relationship. And she does the same thing for me. That's the whole compromise of, all right, you need something done. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make sure things are to get done that you need. And and you do the same for me. Mm -hmm. And we provide for each other. That's where that's where the love comes in. I don't mind doing this little shit. It's going to take me. I mean, my little little yard takes me 40 minutes to cut front and back. So it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. But little shit like that, if you say something to them and they don't have a care about it in the world and they're like, it's not even on their radar to want to get it done for you, then you, you should take that as a lesson and learning mm, this might be a point where I need to start figuring out how to move on or, you know what I mean? There's too many red checks going on that <clears throat> they, they yeah. all these flags are popping up now. Yeah, you got to find that out on your own. I'm not here to dictate your relationship. I don't want nobody dictating my relationship. You know what I mean? We handle our house in house. So that's how it should be. That's how it should be. But say they don't do that, and then you got the the, the disrespectful in laws. And when I, we we keep doing this in laws, and everybody think I'm just talking about in laws, and they just automatically go to mother and father in law. But understand, brother in law, sister in law, uncles, cousins in law, uncle law. Yeah, yeah, it's all in laws. It's no, all no, in law. No, no. Have you, you could ever had respect? It? You get a different kind of respect when you uh when you the brother or sister in law. I can tell you shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can tell you, nigga, you don't get the, that's my house. Get the, like I don't need to. I don't need to hear nothing from you. Like yeah, like the parents. Have you ever have a, different. Yeah, yes. Yeah, have you ever have a disrespectful in in law like this motherfucker just no. disrespectful? You had to check him. My life is pretty good, man. I, I actually haven't. That's good. And I'm you being. Got... I'm being. I'm being really honest. I got. I got good. Good extended family. They are awesome people. I'm not even gonna hold you. Awesome. Nah, people. I mean that's that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah. Certain families you marry into is like, yo, it's like you know what this like. If I'm about to marry into, even though I knew him for a long time, they always been good. Go ahead, me. talk shit. Uh, I haven't I talked shit. Out. No, I pussy out. I, they know who the type of person I am. They know. We're knock you out now. <laughs> they know that I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm very, I'm very they loving. And, they know I'm very loving and caring, but they also know like, yo. Don't overstep the district. Don't disrespect me. Don't rock the boat. Don't disrespect. <laughs> I, I, I always give. I always give it everybody. Like you say that. Yeah, I always give people the most respect. I give everybody the respect, <laughs> respect they deserve. I respect everybody. You know what I'm saying? I try to respect everybody and everything they do. I don't. I don't. But the thing, I don't play the major thing. I don't play that disrespectful shit. Like I don't care. Like you start getting disrespectful to me, I have ones. Get, you get disrespectful to me, I'm gonna give somebody at least. 10 seconds before I flip on you and I'm going to be disrespectful as fuck. And you're not going to like the response I come. It's, it's going to come back with all types of shit. And I'm going to say most using that 10 di- seconds to, to configure that, uh, ten, uh, yeah. 10 seconds to configure a sentence that fucking hurts their soul. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sitting there because I'm waiting. Like, Analyzing you know, I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ass, I'm sitting there. I'm just sitting there <laughs> chilling and I'm looking like, oh, you, you really going to you know what type of mouth I got. I look at you know what type of mouth I got. Are, are we doing this? All right, cool. You better stop your kids from eating crayons. You gonna say some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit that's you have my grandbabies you know have my grandbabies all retarded and shit. <laughs> that's the type of shit Kevin say. You say some crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah, For no man, reason. I, ball, ball head scallywag bitch. Like I don't even know who the fuck you talking to. Like get the fuck out of my face, shit. you funky, you funky. Funky breath, knob foot. We get it. Dirty. I just yeah. say everything. Like whatever. If I knew you was a hoe, like you, you, <laughs> you talking to me. You trying to give me relationship advice. You <laughs> fucked half this fucking town. Like everybody knows you for sucking dick. What the hell's going on here? Apparently he's telling <laughs> he's telling telling their mother that or so I don't know what what this is supposed I, to be. I, that's how I would snap on. I snap on like yo man. I tell him straight up. You need to shut the fuck up and mind your motherfucking business. Somebody say something disrespectful to me, and I give them, they say something to me. I look, nobody say that. I'm like, look, motherfucker, you need to shut the fuck up and mind your motherfucking business. Give a fuck about you or your husband. I'll beat the fuck out of him, and I have somebody kick your fucking ass. Get you get the fuck out. Yeah, you need to fuck out of my house right now, you ugly motherfucker. Yeah, you and like, you like you talk, you talking to me like that? You husband getting around. potato salad? Don't know what's going on. This nigga just catching uh, trays. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm like, because at that point you gotta let motherfucker know, like you talking to me. What he say? Talking to me, you talking to me out of pocket. Now I gotta talk to you out of pocket. Okay, so that's how we. That's how that's parents up or Facetime disrespect them and him. Nah, I don't dog. I cuss some motherfucker out in a heartbeat. I don't cuss motherfucker people parents out before. I'm sorry. It ain't the coolest thing. I cuss. I cuss motherfucker parents out before because you. You said something wrong. Wrong fast. 
Nah, they just say foul <laughs> shit. And I try to let their kids, I try to let their kids be like, yo, mom, chill, you, you, you going too far. Dad, you going too far. Sis, you going too far. You got to chill. Nobody wants to say that. And they be like, I can't believe you said that to my brother. I, I can't believe you stood there and didn't say nothing to your but, brother. Let's let's move this conversation forward and also bring it to an end. I am what well, I was, I was this, is gonna, this is the end of this respect for well, well, I was I was getting ready to yeah, he, he don't give segue. Going on like not at all. I was segueing into exactly what we were talking about, but posing a question. When is it the the time to cut parents and in-laws off? Like what can they do that makes you say, okay, you go to your, your significant other and say they are not allowed back in my house. If they come in your house, like I said, disrespectful, rude, ignorant, and overstepping, and very openly overstepping their boundaries. Like you came That's in here. It's incredibly vague. But you come in here, you come in my house one, down talking to me like I'm a child. You come okay. in here not respecting the fact that this is us. You come in here demanding shit you come in there barking orders um you're rude to everybody you're cutting people off as we're trying to like calm you down like maybe like say they come to your house right say they came to your house and the house is fucked up the kids trashed the house and the first thing they say every time i yeah every time they come in the house every time i come in your house y'all house is fucking dirty and disgusting these little fucking kids i got these fucking kids just tearing this up and they doing that. They yell at your kids. Shit your fucking ass down, little motherfucker. Y'all, y'all just look at this trifling fucking house. This nigga don't do nothing. You don't do shit. It's like, this is how they walk in your house. Because I see motherfuckers do this shit before. This is how they, they walk in their point. house. Sometimes, though. In certain they might houses. have a point. In certain but people's how, houses. But it's how you say the shit. And you gotcha. just sitting there, and this motherfucker coming there blasting off. They like yo, and you might you say yo, man. Like, all right, I understand you're right, but you know, such mom chill. I, I I'm just tired of this fucking shit, yo. Hey yo, chill. Ah nah, yo, hey, yo man, you need to fuck up my. I told you shut the fuck up. You need to fuck out my house now. And don't ever bring your fucking ass back here. I asked you three times to relax and chill. You making my kids upset. You making the lady the house upset. And you don't. And you been pissed me the fuck off. But I'm trying to be the voice of reason right now. So this is what's going to happen. You need to fuck out my house. Don't bring your ass the fuck back here. You don't like how it looks. Don't come over here no more. You ain't welcome. But I don't give a fuck who you are, who you relate to this house. Don't bring your ass over. She wants to come see you. She take the kids to come see you. I don't got to be involved. Don't come to my fucking house. I won't come to your fucking house. That's how we're going to do this from here on out. Because you came in here... With a tone you shouldn't have had. You came in here being rude. I try to defuse and de-escalate the situation twice. Three strikes, you out. That's it. I don't want to see you. I don't want to deal with you. If you had, a, if you was upset about how the house looked, it's ways to talk to us. Not coming here spazzing and flipping the fuck out and going overboard and upsetting the whole house. We're not doing this. I'm not doing this. Okay. I get it. Yeah, the kids store the fuck up today. I get it, but you just today you overstep. Don't bring your fucking ass back here. <clears throat> just like okay. that. That's it, and that's the only way they can get banned from your house if they come over. Like I said, talk about just being overly disrespectful and just, just I mean, just crossing a line that they can't come back from. Because at the most part, think about it. Would you would y'all not give them the opportunity to calm down or try to calm them down because that's you know uh, they're older than you, your elders? I, I mean, I I obviously there will be some conversations had before it gets to the blow up. Um, and I will to me, that's when boundaries come into play. So I'm definitely going to give them the boundaries before the blow up. And that might happen if they're known to do these things, walk in, just saying their opinions as soon as they walk in, then yeah, the conversation would have been happened before I blow up. So I would give them a couple times because it's not like they're a stranger. They're your whatever in law, uh, mom, brother, whatever it is. So you, you have that conversation beforehand, maybe even twice, uh, as you said earlier, just so they can understand like, no, no, I'm not fucking around. 
This is my house. And this is how I expect you to conduct yourself in my house. Then you get to a point where they do it. I don't have to blow up at them, um, which you can also do that as well. I'm not saying it's wrong, but at that point, it's like, yo, let me speak to you outside. Yo, you're no longer welcome here. I'll say everything you said, but it'll have, it'll be conversations before that. So they understand why and that I'm not fucking around when I say you're not welcome back in my house, you know? Mm. And, 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 and for me, it, it is disrespect is, is one of those things that it gets you thrown out. Um, not res- yeah, disrespect, like any form of disrespect that is directed at me and my wife, like, you know what I'm saying? Or damaging my property. Um, if you get mad or damage my property, you're automatically, then there's no conversation. You're never allowed back anyway. Like, I don't want your old miles. You like to fuck, fuck up my wall. You think you coming back in this motherfucker after you fuck my wall up? No. Beat your ass as soon as you step on that damn porch. Mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's, it's any form of disrespect that, like, like you said, that you can't come back from. It's like, nah, bro, you're not. Unless we have. Now, that's not to say that you can't overturn that. If we have changed behavior, if we have true change behavior, then sure. Like, there's way you, ways you can get over it um because i'm a malleable guy but other than that if you disrespect me and i give you that that option never to come back and there's no conversation no apology no none of that shit and no you're banned for life yeah it's uppercuts on site there's uppercuts nothing on wrong site to mm-hmm. ban a person for for life or ban them because you can always ban somebody from your household but you can still have the love for them and, and, and if you truly love them have the love and all that other stuff they're just like hey you overstep something in this household where is we can't fix it. I don't think it can ever. It's certain situations that can't be fixed. Mm-hmm. But you, you know, but I still love you and care about you. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you or anything like that. But just like, yo, you're not welcome here. You you went you went too fucking far. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You went too far. Or maybe you, you know what I mean? Cause or you can't stay here ever. Like. I, I got a policy now, like only people that can live with me will be my, my parents or my or my in-laws. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel as though we got a debt to, to take care of them if they ever fell in hard, hard times because they did the same thing for us. But if you, like, say if you was to come stay with me and you just a fucking constant nuisance and my house is flipped on his head, it's like, yo, you got to go and don't bring your ass back here. Like that, This shit is done. Like, you... You fuck this up. Like, please don't come back here. Give you enough time to get your shit together and go where you gotta go. But once you go where you gotta go, I don't give a fuck what time, what type of time you fall on. You better fix that shit yourself. And if whoever don't like it, then go help you fix your situation. I'll be by my damn self. I cut as many motherfuckers off as I need in life to have peace in my life. I'm sorry. That's that's the type. That's the type of energy I got right now. I cut as many people off as I need to in order to have peace in my house and peace of fucking mind. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no hard feelings, but I, I, listen, man, I just feel I feel bad because there's people out there really right now because we're wrapping this up. There's people out there that are going through this on a constant, everyday basis with their in law. And there's nothing they can say because not only do they got the in-laws that are fucking from hell, they got the spouse that is fucking enabling these in-laws to do this shit and you want to be stuck to this person. You like you're handicapped by this person. Like they don't want to leave their girlfriend or I mean their husband. No, get their out of wife. there. Right, but it's, it's pe- I know it's people's like, I mean, I love my wife, but her, her parents is, you know, this and that, you know. They make my life miserable. Da, da, da. It's like, yo, the whole family bearing weight down on me. It's, that's crazy. But I see it. That's that shit's stressful as hell. I could only imagine. Oh, I knew, I knew. With, it's, it's, it's like a battle between you stuck in the middle of a battle between you having to deal with what your parents say and then you having to deal with your spouse says. Wanting to, wanting to try to keep the peace and keep the compromise. But really, ain't no compromise in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it's your house, you are the deciding factor. Y'all supposed to be able to figure that shit out. Mm-hmm. Do, is do whatever you need to do within house. As soon as you start letting other people in your house, it ain't your house no more. 
You know what I mean? It's community housing. So then they tell you what to do. They start sleeping in your motherfucker. You come home. They already in your house eating your food. Like, nigga, when did you get a key? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you like, you like give it to me. Yeah, that's a bad feeling. Yeah. I feel I feel for people like that that come home and they see their in laws in their crib and they automatically like don't greet the motherfuckers. They just like despise to see them here and they just walk off. Like I'm happy to see my in laws. I'm like I'm, they, they I give them a kiss and a hug. Sit down, have a little conversation, then I go do what I got to do because I know you came here for your daughter. But hey, I love you. What's up? Do not have our ones and twos, and I'm out. Well, what do y'all What do y'all think about this? Because uh, I'll infuse a little bit of um, social media news in into this. What do you feel about Jeezy having an issue with uh, his wife Jeannie Mai and her mom being around all the time and brother being around all the time? I think they they live with them, and that was one of the issues that he had and why they why they're going to be getting a divorce. What do you think about that? Uh, because, because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. That's that, that's the culture. I guess she's um she's she's Asian, Asian. Yeah. but that's within their culture. Like I've been in a lot Asian people's houses, Indian people's houses, African, like you name it. I've been in their 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 homes, and their culture is there's generations living in their house. There's generations. So what do you do when it's your your significant other's culture? I think. He should have figured. He should have figured that. Known that beforehand. Before though. he got married, he sometimes got you that. don't. That's yeah, you're right. You're right. If you, right. If you he like, if you, that had to be it. something discussed because she probably lived with them beforehand. They probably all lived together when he met her. Yeah. He didn't meet her broke. He didn't meet her like she was just living didn't. at her mama's house. Yeah, he so, definitely did. I mean, yeah, he might have started getting tired of it, but at that point, bro, you already committed and you knew what. I was, I would assume that you know that this is what it is. When she has a t when they have conversations about what how they lived in and their background, because don't nobody decide to marry. I mean, maybe you do. Who knows? Who knows? They they, they, they rich, so they marry like that. But in Jesus don't say that. Situation. Don't say that. <laughs> they miss so they rich, so they just marry like that. They, just, but, yo, they do sometimes. They just people, get married. They don't date like normal people. Like rich people date like their dates is they're traveling and. They doing expensive shit like they're not. Can't can't they ain't, come on, bro. Like, but think, man, you you were really you really think Jeezy just went over <laughs> to the house as a date and just sat in the crib and watched TV with him? I don't. I can't speak for that. I mean, I know well, even if I had money, I would do that because. Well, but why I'm not? Saying, uh, yeah. Okay, but it, back to everything the they do is a trip. Is a trip. No, nah, I'm just saying. They, he's like, he, okay, say Jeezy come over. They like, yo, man, the parents is there. I just want a nice evening with my girl. Like, I can rent a hotel. I can rent something out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the situation. But back, let's talk about the situation. He's leaving her because of that. One, one of the reasons. reasons. I'm pretty. One of the reasons. I can. Uh, I can only imagine what that's like because it's like you wake up. You wake up with you got kids. Say you got kids. But you don't have they don't have kids, but you wake up in your house. You, how you walk out, how do you walk to your kitchen? You might walk to the kitchen in your underwear. You might walk to the kitchen naked if you just had sex to get some. I was gonna say, bread. yeah, after that, yeah, I'm definitely butt ass. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying now you are restricted in what you wear. Her mother's in the house, so you put a shirt on, you put shorts. You got money on. like that, you have your house accommodated. Wait, you live wait. In the West Wing. Yo. And you go to your West Wing kitchen. I live on the East Wing. I'm gonna go to my East Wing kitchen. But they, 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 just, they, they just put the shirts on, no bottom. Y'all niggas, 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 niggas cut me. Y'all niggas cut me off every time I get to talking. Y'all niggas cut me off. No bottoms. You know what I'm yeah, bottoms, whatever, no bottoms. But I'm saying, even if he do got a big ass house. Yo, these people are in walking distance. They get, this ain't a car where it's an inconvenience for you to get in your car to go see your daughter. You are in the house in walking distance. Now you got to deal with, yo, my mom's cooking this. My mom wants to eat this for dinner. It's like, you watch your TV. The brother comes in, sits next to you, start having a dumbass conversation that you don't want to have. <laughs> You just want to sit down and watch TV, but this nigga feels as though it's time to have a dumbass conversation, and you just want to sit there and watch Rick and Morty, and you like, yo, go somewhere. What, what are we talking about? Like, what do you why? think about this East Coast West Coast beef, man? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> but I'm saying what? you don't what? mind. You don't mind your wife invading your space when you're trying to watch TV. She may come and fuck with you. You can like listen and kind of ignore her at the same time and not be a, and not be annoyed by it. It's just. But I'm saying you're not like oh this motherfucker. You you expect that because you with her. But to have another grown man come sit down next to you and just, you know, I, I was thinking about going to check this movie out. You know, I was looking at this car. Hey, man, how do you feel about this? How do you think about this? Hey, man, you know, did, did you see that black guy get salted by the cop? And you just sit there and look at this nigga like, yo, bro, I'm just watching TV. I'm like, I can hear, like, I don't even want to hear you breathe. Because after a while, you get so annoyed with him, nigga sitting next to you just breathing like, I, I I can guarantee you, and if he felt that way, and I, I probably understand how it got so bad that he's like, all right, I gotta get out of here, or somebody gotta get out of here. He probably got to the point where after he got off the road doing whatever book tours or whatever, th- he probably didn't want to go home, like because he yeah. knew like if I go home, the motherfuckers gonna be cooking some shit I don't want to eat, like you know what I mean? I ain't gonna be able to, you know, like spend quality time with my wife. Because she's gonna be worried about what they're doing. It's like he probably got to the point where he became unhappy just coming home, which was supposed to be something that he felt good about. Yeah, sanctuary. Instead, they, they, it's like, oh, all these people gonna be here. I told her not to have them here, and I just want to fucking have. Yeah, it became a stress rather than a relief. Bro, how many? Think about how many times you came home and just spread out on your couch and just laid there. Now the bottom, you know the bottoms. Cause that's a that's, yeah. that's a just red eagle and on the couch, just laying on just laying on your fucking couch. How much inconvenience it is when somebody's living with you other than your kids and your girls? Like, this motherfucker, she come with this it's, bullshit. It's being in your comfort zone. It's you know what I mean. And and yes, if you, because I imagine you know if you're doing anything where you make millions of dollars. It's it's stressful situations that you're in, and when you do have that time, or when you set aside that time to have that you know personal time with your girl or your wife and your kid, it's important. And if it's getting interrupted, yeah, that probably contributed a lot to him saying, "All right, we we can't do this because I told you about it, and you don't want to fix it." I'm assuming because I don't know, and we can't get past this. So yeah, I imagine that 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 probably affected him a lot. That's what I think. Yeah, I feel- I I feel from too, man. Cause man, mm. yeah, I understand, bro. But let's wrap this shit up, man. We out of here. That was another episode, man. Okay, okay. Need the podcast. Okay, uh, buddy. And lost and lost from hell. What else can I say? Listen, nobody wraps up their podcast in this shit because nobody wraps up their podcast with this professional way. Please stop. <laughs>